This is a two-year suspension, but because he's already faced this is the first suspension for a year, initial last until the evidential end of commentary on today's now, saying, Ken Livingston news that Ken Livingston has been suspended temporarily for another year he's facing the lesser from the Labour Party membership. And he suggested the CBS we shall be commi Michael communicating Mansfield, QC, has through this channel as well as not made via the Twitter account. So what's the background to all this? Well, this the all dates back to a BBC radio exclusive series of events Feltz last year, that actually focus on Ken Livingstone's role had been in subverting top, community accountability in Tower Homes especially should be moved to in aiding and abetting Nashar, it's important the corruption this post of democracy became, uh, an MP or in what remained of democracy and in our homes by his participation in the foisting of the corrupt post of executive mayor. Of Havara agreement of 1933, although I don't think he actually said mm. Havara agreement in that interview, between the Zionist Federation of Germany and Nazi Germany. And this, of course, allowed thousands of German Jews to migrate to what was then the British mandate of Palestine. And it appears that Mr. Livingstone's central defence today was that he was not saying in that interview that Hitler was a Zionist, he was saying that Hitler supported Zionism, and Mr. Livingston says those are, do not amount to anti-Semitic remarks. Thank you very much, Nick. Well, Ken Livingston is here with me, and also here is the Labour MP, Wes Streeting, who's been critical of both Mr. Livingston and the Labour Party's handling of this affair. Good evening to you both. Uh, Ken Livingston, um, you thought you were going to be expelled. You've had a lucky mm. escape. Well, I think that the Labour Party's barrister and lawyer were most probably saying to them, look, if you expel Ken Livingston, he goes for judicial review, mm -hmm. you haven't got a cat in hell's chance of winning because you can have all sorts of arguments you like. But I did not say that Hitler was a Zionist. You had Labour MPs like John Mann claiming I'd said Hitler was Zionist. You had West Streeting saying I had a problem with anti-Semitism. And if you went on the Jewish Chronicle website that day, it said, didn't just say I said Hitler was a Zionist. It said I'd said that Jews were like Nazis. This is outrageous. I know fake news has become the big yeah. thing. West Streeting, um, what does it feel like to be in the same party as Ken Livingston tonight? Well, we've said that the Labour Party will take a zero-tolerance approach to anti-Semitism, and today was an opportunity to demonstrate we live up to that promise. And we've blown it because the Labour Party process has conceded that Ken has brought the Labour Party into disrepute. Let's bear in mind that the Labour MP he was defending, the remarks he was defending, were accepted by Naz Shah as anti-Semitic. In fact, she is a model of how to respond when you make remarks that you don't where you don't understand the impact of your words, you make remarks, you apologise for them, you learn from it. She's undertaken to become a leading campaigner in the fight against anti-Semitism. But Ken, on the other hand, uninvited, decided to wade into the debate to defend the remarks which she accepted were anti-Semitic and has brought the Labour Party into dispute. And not only doing that, has since displayed a bizarre fascination with a tiny part of World War II history. There is, there is a website that counts the number of days since right. Ken last mentioned Hitler. And this matters because it comes up on the doorstep in constituencies like mine. You and it looks like the Labour Party doesn't take uh, people like well, Ken who well, make well, the well, well, remarks. Well, Ken, let's put it this way. Ken, let me say, you are no um, uh, mm. stranger to controversy. And often mm. in the past, it's been like water off a duck's bag. Mm. But do you accept now that you, know, you are tainted and you will mm. not come back in any meaningful way to the Labour Party in any kind of form of office? Well, look, when I lost to Boris Johnson in 2012, I made clear my concession speech that broadly that was the end of my political career. I campaigned for the Labour Party, but you know, my wife's become a teacher, I'm the house husband. So this I'm is not, the I'm end not, of your political career? Not, I didn't seek her parliamentary seat at the last election. I didn't ask Ed Miliband or Jeremy Corbyn to put me in the House of Lords. But you have been very supportive of Jeremy yes. Corbyn. And if you believe what West Streeting is saying, you've been very damaging on the doorstep, so essentially you are damaging no. Jeremy Corbyn. I'm not damaging. When I uh, was suspended, I couldn't walk down the street for hundreds of people stopping to say, we know what he said is true. Virtually the first person said, I'm a, Jew, a woman, I'm Jewish, don't these MPs read their history? And the problem is this, if you look at the um, 
chairman of the Board of Deputies of British Jews, giving evidence to the House of Commons. He says, for Ken Livingstone to say Hitler was a Zionist was deeply offensive. And that's part of the problem. There were these series of lies and smears that I'd said Hitler was a Zionist. Well, if I said Hitler was a Zionist, I wouldn't have just apologised. I'd ask my doctor if it wasn't the first sign of dementia. Here's a man who loathed and feared Jews all his life. But he did a deal with the Zionists, and I didn't even criticise the deal, because 66,000 German Jews were moved to Palestine. If they hadn't, they'd have died in the gas chambers with six million others. Well, this now, Wes Spreeting, would appear to be the end of the matter or not? Well, we're meant to be launching the Labour's campaign for the local elections today. And instead of talking about the big issues in local elections, we're talking about mm. Ken's bizarre fascination with the 1930s. And